It's Saturday. It's Twyla Part Two. The video went crazy. My my whatever they want to call this tripod. It's not a tripod. Anyways, I missed my little other thing. I haven't found anything comparable to it. That's when you find something you like. That's why when you find something you like, buy three, two, three, four, if you can afford it. I had two, but I gave one away. So that's that. And I only paid, I paid very little for that thing. So I'm doing some Kingsford. Don't want to keep you waiting. Oops, messy eating. Mm. Yeah. And this is all for that. Mm. So, now I'm stirring. <clears throat> okay, before the phone fell and all that stuff, I was telling you about, yeah, people that don't want to talk, get mad at you and don't want to talk to you anymore. I mean, come on. Then they decide they want to talk to you and they try to talk to you again. It's just really funny to me. And I was saying how my mom and I used to, I don't know how much made it on the other one, but I was meant to say on the other one, but uh, my mom and I used to get into it sometime. Not like violent or, but I would just let her know things, how I felt about stuff. Anyways, um, like one time I told her, she was a great cook, but I told her about, I said, Mom, you can cook good. I love your cooking. But I said, your rice be sticking together. Why I say that? Mm -mm. So, camera seem a little far back. Anyway, that was funny. And we had other little disagreement, but one thing about it: before that day was over. We was on the phone, calling, talking to each other. Or I'd go by and see her. And make sure everything was good for the day. Before I left home, call and ask her if she needed anything from the store. And that was it. I feel like when you're friends with people, family with people, you shouldn't quit talking to them. That's just something, I don't know, it came... I used to do it. And I can quit speaking to somebody that I just know, me and this person. There's no need in us having any type of connection. Okay, but uh, anyway, it hit me to stop doing that years ago. You know, okay, you mad. They made you upset. Tell them about it and go on about your business.
That's how you do it. Because when you quit talking to people, you lose a connection. And when you lose the connection, it's a lot of things can be missed in periods of time. So that's all I have to say about that. So how you feel about, all feel about that? I have my nightgown on, but I'm clean. My nightgown is clean. I washed it. Um, it's clean. So, but I'm at home. I didn't feel like I haven't, I'm not going anywhere today. I need to go to the bank, though. That's what I forgot. We went out last night to the bank to get some money to go put in another bank. And it was cold. I didn't take my shawl. And I was, I was like, ooh, we're getting back home. So we went to the bank, got the money. And we went and got some Asian food. My husband liked this Asian place. And oh my God, he can eat. If I ate like him, oh, I would be so huge. I got, they sell four egg rolls for $1.50. dollar fifty. They're so little and cute and they're good, but I always like to get them freshly made. He got teriyaki chicken and some other stuff. And uh, everything came to about $14, $13. And, um, ooh, I'm kind of tired. I'm kind of sleepy. So we came home. We had that. And, um, cause he was ready to start eating in the car. I said, no, you ain't eating it. Not in this car. Uh-uh, you can't be eating it. And, no, he would have had rice everywhere. Mmm. We ain't live up the street. Plus the food was real hot needed to cool off. Cause they make it fresh and they do it quick. Well, the same girl that had reached out to me, must have been last night or something. Oh, a big spoonful. She's done that before. She would tell me she didn't like Michelle Obama. We, somehow we started talking about Michelle Obama. This was years ago. I live in Palm Springs. And, um, I was on my bed looking at TV. A luxury I don't have now because I haven't hooked up the TV in the room. I don't know why. So I was in the bedroom looking at TV, talking to her. And Michelle came on the TV, and I just mentioned something about something, her dress or something, I don't know. And she said, I don't like Michelle Obama. I said, why? Because she believe in evolution. And I was like, what? Does she believe in evolution? And I said, oh, okay. I said, but you don't see anything else about her you like? Black woman educated and when i say educated you can be educated i don't have a degree but i'm educated but she got degrees and then i find some people with degrees they are not even educated but as i continue um very intelligent i should say intellectual very intellectual i consider myself intellectual being able to process information that's what intellectual means and I said nothing about her. She got a husband. She got a kid. She got this. She got. She don't like her. So I said to her, I remember a previous conversation that she said she liked Kim Kardashian, and I let it go. And I just said, Well, why you like Kim? Uh, what? Why you like Kim Kardashian? And she said something silly, and I just let it go. And um. So I said, Okay. You don't like Michelle Obama because she <laughs> believe in evolution. I said, but you like Kim Kardashian. Does she believe in evolution? 
She got upset. I know you guys, you don't like Michelle Obama. And you have him Kardashian though. Who got famous for what she did. She got mad at me and hung up the phone. Didn't call me. I think it was about 15, 16, 17 months. It was a long time, over a year. Then she called me apologizing. Or she texted me. Or, yeah, it was, I think it was text. Could have been email, but I think it was text. <sighs> anyway, she contacted me. One thing I've learned in life, when you don't do anything wrong to people, and they quit talking to you, they quit cease talking to you, don't even worry about it. They will contact you again. Mm-hmm. I said, girl, you quit talking to me over Kim Kardashian, somebody you don't even know. Mm-mm. I have been knowing you over 30 years. And we was kidding. Mm-mm. That's her. That's how she is. Mm-mm. Well, she contacted me again. I don't think I want to talk right now. Because I am very stressed out. Mmm, that was good. About the possibility of going into of the dictatorship if these people be silly and don't vote. Okay, check your registration. You know, in Georgia in particular, they got stuff going on. People can go on and actually take your name off the registration roll. So check your registration. I say do it like within the next week, week or so. So you won't get all up into September and October. But they say they could, if they have your last four of your social, your first and last name, and maybe some other information. And then it was a data breach. Now they're fighting it in court. But tell all your people in Georgia and other places where they trying to block the vote. Tell them to please check your registration. Uh, you know, some things you have to do. And um, so I'm going to vote early and in person like I always do. I I, I, used to, I, I voted by mail once. And I didn't, I don't want to do that. Again. I don't want to vote by mail anymore. So love you guys. Appreciate you all for tuning in on my little boring Saturday. I have found out just you don't need a, a lot of excitement to appreciate and enjoy life. Sometimes you just need to relax. I may later on, I took out some steaks I bought. So 
they were frozen I put them in the refrigerator I might cook those for him um, I don't know but I'm gonna have to cook them within at least a day or so but for now I'm just gonna relax and uh, yeah so check your registration that's very important and be prepared to register again and then check that registration and get that registration number. I have my registration somewhere. Right here in my purse. I think it's in my wallet. But I am I've been voting since I was 18. Yes, I have. And I I, I couldn't wait. So all of your children and grandchildren and they have graduated from high school or college. They may be partying and celebrating and having a good time. Let's get them registered. Let's go, when we go to the post, you can go to the post office or I think you can go into the library too. Get some forms, make them fill it out. And make sure they put a permanent address there, you know, somewhere they, they are always welcome to live. Make sure they fill it out if they're like hopping around. And um, they'll send them, to, of course, their polling place. And make sure those registrations are signed and dated. And give them to, I would take them directly to the post office. Or find out where your registrar recorder's office is. And please don't lose your driver's license. I was with the, uh, the lady that I said I've been knowing for years and we've been hanging a little bit. She lost, she couldn't, she couldn't find her driver's license. I was like, girl, how you lose your driver's license? She said she ain't losing this in the house somewhere, but, uh, cause I have heard like sometime and I've heard like some places in like Texas and other places, the nearest DMV can be far, like an hour or so, like in California, you could throw a brick and hit a DMV. I mean, I don't even know where a DMV... Where is a DMV? Oh, I went to the DMV this year. That's kind of when I started this um, YouTube. I had to do my license. And it, uh, it was in Rancho Cucamonga, but I think there was some somewhere else. But Rancho Cucamonga, like 10 miles from here. So, yeah, so be vigilant. This is a very, this could be the last election. If we don't get out in high numbers, take somebody to vote with you. Let me tell you how patriotic I am. Uh, I went to vote. I think it was against the recall. They were trying to recall our governor, who's a good governor. And um, so... My husband and I, we went and voted, and then we had a friend. We have a, I know somebody, he's kind of have issues with his sight, and so um, he's legally blind, I guess. So we voted, and we went and got him, and then we took him back because we were in the same area so we could vote together, and I took him back. We took went back. He voted. I assisted him and helped him to vote. And then after that, we just, it was a beautiful day. We just said, okay, we're going to go to the beach. So just before we went to the beach, we got to the area and we went to Norm's and ate and went to the beach. And then I took him home. We, we took him home that night, that evening. But yeah, pick somebody up, take them to vote. That's why early voting is good. Because you ain't got to be like waiting to a certain day or a time. You got a big window. So you can say, okay, I'm going to vote on this particular day. Or that particular day. So that's the great part about early voting. And, um, oh, I like early voting. Because on that mail-in voting, if you don't sign that paper and date it, your vote is not going to count. They're going to be trying to call you. You need to come sign this. Avoid all that. Just go in, vote, come out. 
I love it. And then we use the computer. First, I wasn't too keen on the computer, but we get a printout here. So how we voted prints out, and you can see you voted for everybody. Everything's in line. And always take a paper with you to vote. So you know I'm voting this way. I'm voting for this one for a senator, this one for Congress, this one for that, this one for... I'll re, I, I remember... When I voted on the recall, I voted for a black guy named Tony Thurman to be the school superintendent of schools or some job that he had to be voted in to deal with the school. I voted for him and 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 yeah, he's held that position. So study your ballot and know what's going on. It's not just about president, vice president, it's about senators, state senators, US senators. If we don't have US enough US senators and Congress people, we can't get nothing done. The good things done, we need to be done. In California, we have a rental thing coming up about um which won't mean nothing if Trump get in, but we get, oh God, let, oh, anyway, let me talk. So they're trying to block that, not block it, but trying to make people scared. Oh, don't vote for that. Twice, the state of California could have had stricter rent control, but they did not vote for it. Only the young people, they ran all these ads of California Apartment Association. That's real real estate people. So they ran all these ads. Oh, we get rent control. It's going to be worse using the poor people and these ads. Talking about, oh, we need to vote for. Are you serious? If you go to vote for, at the store, that these stores cannot raise their prices. If they peanut butter is $1.50 or $2.50, they can't raise it but three cents. As opposed, they can raise it a whole 50 cent. Vote for yourself. People got to quit feeling sorry for rich people. Rich people, fine. They, 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 they all right. They good. We have to worry about ourselves and vote as a unit. Okay, we don't have unlimited income. Some people do, some people don't. Some people on uh, YouTube and Facebook making all kind of money. But if they don't manage that money well, they're they going to be broke as anybody else. So whatever money you have coming in, you better act like, it. <laughs> especially uh, computer money. Don't even trip. Put them, cash them checks and put them to the side. Cash them checks and put them to the side. Pay your taxes right off the bat. Pay them. Then you ain't, because if you, I'd rather pay my taxes up front on YouTube or other kind of money or Amazon, I sell something or whatever, because if you send them too much money, you're going to get that money back with interest. If you don't send them anything, they're going to want your money back. I got to just, we just did our taxes. The lady said we owe $64 in federal taxes. I'm like, okay. So when she filed those taxes, I'm going to immediately, or uh, I have to find out from her what her suggestion is. Get them people their money. Because they charge you every day. All right, I've been talking long enough, though. Please, check your registration. Be excited. We, we, can, we can keep a, a horrible man. This man is horrible. He don't care about nobody. And he think he can steal the election, but they own him. So, um, the Department of Justice, thinking he gonna have people there talking about they not gonna count no votes. Uh, and they gonna be doing this and doing that. Come on. This is a rich man, that a rich boy born. Sometimes we wanna be rich, but rich can be complicated. It can make, make you into some kind of monster where you're just selfish and don't care about nobody but yourself. So I don't know. 
So the scripture says something about, Lord, I don't want to be too rich where I don't care or too poor where I would steal. I don't know where it's found, but something goes along like that. Okay, love you guys. Have a great week. I'm going to try to be strong and not eat any starch for the rest of the week. Also, does eating cornstarch make you anemic? Because I think I've been anemic and I haven't been taking my pills and liquid. So I just want to know that too. Thank you. Later.